My name's Gerardo Mazzella. I've been suffering from chronic pain for some uh, 17 years. Um, it all started uh, as an ache in my right testicle, which I had um, extensively investigated um, by urologists and so forth, but um, there was no solution. Uh, they found some bulging discs as well and um, some problems in my hip. Um, about five years ago, I bumped into a mate of mine, uh, Mark Whelan, who used to teach me Kung Fu. Uh, he suggested I go and see Dr. Munjad Almadiris. I said, uh, who's, who's Dr. Munjad Almadiris? Oh, Gerard, he said, he's, uh, I work with him, he's, he's up and coming, he's a young guy, you know. Um, look, let him have a look at you, you know. He, we probably can fix you. I'll, he said, I tell him, uh, I'll tell him you're my cousin, I'll make the appointment. Uh, I went to see him, he looked at my MRI, MRI scans and I uh, said, look, it's all in your hip, I can fix you. I said, look, uh, I said, doctor, I said, I've seen other hip guys. Uh, they said my pain symptoms, symptoms aren't typical of, of, of the hip problem I have. He said, they don't know what they're talking about. I've done 200 of these before. It's a very simple surgery, arthroscopic hip surgery. You'll be in and out in one hour. Um, I said, okay, let's do it. It was $8,000. Um, I went into Norwest, Norwest um, Private Hospital in uh, um, near Borkham Hills Way uh, for the surgery, um, and the surgery didn't go for an hour. It went for around four hours. When I woke up, the first question Dr. Munjad Almadiris asked me was, "Can you feel your willy?" And so I touched my penis and I said, uh, "No, I can't. It was numb." Um, my, my penis and scrotum were totally numb and he just walked away. A couple of hours later, he came back and asked me the same question, can you feel your penis? I said, no, I can't. He said, oh, he said, don't worry, don't worry, you'll be back in six hours. <clears throat> but that stage I wasn't concerned because I had total faith in Dr. Dr. Madeiras. Um, <clears throat> so they kept me in overnight. The, the next day he came and asked me the same question, can you feel your penis? My response was no. Don't worry, he said, look, he said, I've just, I just pinched your pudendal nerve. Pudendal nerve. Oh, okay. He said, oh, look, it should be back within six weeks. The sensation should be back in six weeks. It's, this has never occurred to anyone, uh, ever. Uh, this injury is always temporary. Don't, don't be concerned. So I wasn't concerned. Um, after six weeks, I still had no sensation. Uh, he said, look, I'll be back in three months. Uh, you know, at the three-month uh, time period, I became concerned. And, um, and that's when I commenced legal action. So I wake up from the anaesthetic, and, uh, and I'm, a bit, I'm a bit groggy, and there's Madeiras. And the first question he asked me is, can you feel your willy? And uh, I had to think a second. I, I touched, my, touched my penis, and um, it was totally numb. And I, I responded, no. And uh, Madeira just walked away. And he was back, <clears throat> he was back a few hours later <clears throat> with the same question. Can you feel your penis? He asked this time. And I said, no. Madeira said, <clears throat> don't worry. Um, I've just pinched your pudendal nerve. Now, I didn't know what a pudendal nerve was. I, thought, I knew about a pudendal nerve in the, you know, people have in their, in their teeth, you know, but... Pudendal nerve, what's a pudendal nerve? Pudendal nerve, it turns out, is the <clears throat> sensory nerve to your, to your penis and, 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 your, and your scrotum. And it also controls uh, <clears throat> uh, your, you know, your, uh, when you urinate and, and, and defecate and, and so forth. So it's quite an important nerve. Uh, Madeiras had, um, you know, had left me in traction for too long. Because um, the, the surgery, what the, the traction is, when you go and have hip surgery, they put a post in between your legs and they dislocate your leg to put an arthroscope in to, to clean up the, 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 the hip, right, or to do the arthroscopic surgery. Um, the maximum amount of traction time should be an hour, you know. Any, anything more than an hour is, is, is dangerous. It turns out my surgery went for four hours and Madeiras kept me in traction for over two. Um, so what he, is, what he actually had done was uh, he crushed my pudendal nerve. Crushed, it's a, it's a bilateral nerve, it comes out in two sides. He crushed 
both branches, which means, <clears throat> um, which means my my penis is numb. My penis is numb. Um, my my scrotum is numb. You know, in the interim, I had um, I, I had incontinence. I was I was uh, pissing my pants. I had um, what they call anal leakage. So I was shitting my pants in the interim. But Doctor Madeira said, "Don't worry." It's no problem. He said, uh, you know, sensation will return in six weeks. First of all, it was six hours, then six hours went to six weeks, and then six weeks to three months, and it was at the three-month period, uh, still having no sensation in my penis, where I became um, very concerned. After six months, I, um, I got advice from uh, a lawyer, uh, from, from a law group, Slater and Gordon, which, which uh, in hindsight was a mistake, but however, um, we started a, uh, a lawsuit, a medical negligence lawsuit. Uh, I was advised that my case was quite strong. Um, the, the case ran for, for several years. Uh, I had very strong reports. Um, unfortunately, one of my main medical doctors uh, who, who was uh, writing a report passed away, and that delayed things. Yeah. But I got caught in, um, I got caught in the system, and it ended up costing a lot of money. I thought Madeiras was going to settle. It was looking like he was going to settle, but uh, he didn't. He didn't. Um, he refused to settle. He refused to uh, take any responsibility for what had happened. However, in the interim, he did offer me forty thousand dollars to walk away. Slater and Gordon advised me not to take the 40000 and that I'd be paid around 150000 However, um, he refused to settle and, and um, Slater and Gordon didn't want to go to court. So they stopped representing me. I was forced to go and find another lawyer uh, named Philip, Philip Bates, who specialises in um, medical negligence, is a barrister. So I was prepared to go to court and fund the court uh, hearing. However, Slater and Gordon walked away. They, they um, stopped re representing me because they wanted an easy payday. They didn't want to go through a, a hearing. So I was forced to retain new legal counsel, uh, a lawyer by the name of Philip Bates, who I did, and um, I did, and, and it was going okay. However, Philip was incredibly greedy and it got to the point where we were going to go to hearing and he wanted another $150,000 to go for a four day hearing. I didn't have the, the funds. Um, so I had to walk away. And uh, it's been six years now and uh, some sensation has returned to my penis. I've got about 30% sensation. Um, so it's very difficult for me to um, have any sort of sex life. Um, given that I can't really feel my penis properly. And I feel hard done by because uh, Dr. Medeiros um, seems to have become a big star now. I mean, he's, uh, he's on TV, so he's been on the 7pm project. He's been on Sunrise. Uh, he's invented a, um, a, a, some sort of implant where it, comes, where it comes to prosthetic limbs. And I wonder, you know, was I the only one that he injured? I wonder, um, are there other people that were injured? I wonder, you know, have other people been bullied by him? Uh, he refused to take any responsibility. I, I want to know, are there other victims out there? And um, I would assume that there are. Um, you know, four hours in traction is not normal. And this, this uh, injury as a result of a very simple surgery is not the norm either. Something, something had gone wrong, and um, and I want to know, I want to know what actually did occur in that four hours, and and why, and why, um, I have to go through the rest of my life without a penis.